Tobey Maguire, aka the original Spider-Man, recently gains a cool $10.75 million for selling a one acre patch of dirt in Brentwood, Los Angeles. And no, this isn't the actor's main property, clearly. He bought his current Brentwood Park mansion in 2016 for a reported $13 million, along with another home in the area three years later for $6.9 million. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Prior to that, Toby lived in an architectural style home in the West Hollywood area of Los Angeles, and today we'll be checking out the properties that he calls home. Tobey Maguire is an actor and producer best known for playing Spider-Man in the Spider-Man trilogy from 2002 to 2007. At the time of this recording and all his other films considered, Tobey has amassed a net worth of about $75 million, allowing him to have a pretty impressive LA real estate portfolio. And it's not just limited to houses. Aside from owning a couple of homes in and around Hollywood, he also owned an expensive patch of dirt. More on that in a moment. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Tobey Maguire calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. In January 2021, Toby sold his residence in West Hollywood for $3.95 million, an ultra contemporary concrete and glass abode that he bought in 2016 for $3.4 million. West Hollywood is a trendy neighborhood known for its nightlife as well as being home to some of the most buzzed about restaurants. The fabled Sunset Strip offers places like the Chateau Marmont, a celebrity favorite, plus comedy and live music venues. Toby's former home here was set just off of the shops and eateries on the upscale West West end of Melrose Avenue. And the residence spanned 3,250 square feet inside with three bedrooms and three baths. It was originally designed by and served as the residence of famed architect Clive Wilkinson, best known for his work at Googleplex. The mid-century home is situated behind a secure entry gate while the entrance is via a wall of floor to ceiling glass. Inside, the interiors are made softer by warm wood accents and white walls, considering the architecture of the home is very boxy. More walls of glass continue in the home, sliding open to blend indoor and outdoor living spaces into one. The open plan layout begins in the oversized living room, which is big enough to offer a grand piano, giant sectional sofa, and a minimalistic fireplace. The living room also has custom wood installations and is surrounded by more walls of glass that open to the serene yard. Then the space also steps up to a double height dining room and stair gallery. Despite how modern the home is, somehow all of the wood and furnishings make it warm and welcoming. The chef's kitchen in Toby's former home follows the same design theme, offering simple wooden cabinets, top of the line appliances, and a butcher block topped island. Behind the kitchen, you'll find a secluded owner's suite, which the actor once occupied. The master bedroom serves as a peaceful retreat with a closet lined dressing area, as well as a wall of windows, which open up to a courtyard patio. And it's not finished there. This private oasis is complete with an exhibitionist style attached bathroom, where the tub floats in the center of the light filled room, right beside a wall of retractable glass that opens right up to the pool. Even the huge tiled shower has full height glass doors that open to outside. Upstairs in Toby's former home, you'll find a loft style lounge and games room with cork tile flooring and an exposed wood ceiling with skylights. Glass doors open from here to a sprawling terrace as well. One of the upper level rooms was set up as an office at the time, while the other guest's room boasted its own built in desk and a private balcony overlooking the pool. Out back, the swimming pool was 48 feet long and next to it, there was a shaded outdoor kitchen, making for a perfect entertainment space. While that home was awesome, Toby's current estate is in Brentwood, Los Angeles. In 2016, after his split from wife Jennifer Meyer, the actor snagged a newly built traditional mansion located in the upscale enclave of Brentwood Park. The home cost him just about $13 million, and it was a construction site before he got his hands on it, being built from the ground up into a modern traditional style. Think Pleasantville. Brentwood is a quiet, high profile neighborhood on the west side of LA, full of tree lined streets and picture perfect homes. 
Toby's home is decked out in luxury and offers six beds, nine bathrooms, and an open floor plan throughout. Also within the gorgeous house, there are light-filled living spaces like the double-height great room with skylights. The main floor also boasts an open kitchen with large center island and breakfast nook, as well as a family room, library, gallery, dining room, and more. Another impressive amenity has to be the elevator. If that's not enough, there's even a finished basement level in the house where there's a bar, movie theater, and a wine cellar. It sounds to me like the perfect spot to entertain. His master suite here offers vaulted ceilings and two his and hers master baths, as well as dressing rooms. The design throughout Toby's home has a fresh, bright color scheme, light oak floors, and a bit of a modern farmhouse vibe. Outside, the home is complete with manicured gardens on the 16,000 square foot plus lot, a stunning infinity pool and set spa, as well as a patio and barbecue area. In 2019, Toby added on to his real estate portfolio with another Brentwood house. This one might not look as big as his modern traditional residence, but it's still a winner. Reportedly, the actor paid $6.9 million for this mid-century residence, formerly owned by Hunger Games producer Nina Jacobson. While she lived in the house, she took the single-story space and transformed it with a warm, minimalistic style. The 1950s ranch-style home offers about 3,500 square feet with four bedrooms and 5.5 mosaic tile baths on a half-acre lot. It offers a clean line style and modern look with similarities to Toby's former crib in West Hollywood. There are airy and open interior spaces with both hardwood and polished concrete floors throughout, not to mention some handcrafted built-ins in some of the rooms. There are two sitting rooms in the common area, separated by a freestanding center fireplace with charcoal colored bricks. There are also plenty of glass sliders for easy access to the outdoor spaces. The dining room is separate and there's a galley kitchen with walnut cabinets, stainless steel appliances and a bar. It seems that Toby's chic home has a bit of a retro vibe, if you will, but I think it matches the home completely. There's yet another dining room here within floor to ceiling windows and elsewhere you'll find a glass walled screening room with ensuite bath and a playroom. Most of the rooms in this house boast glass sliders out to the yard, including the master suite. This room also has a shag rug underfoot, a sitting area and a glamorous attached bath. Once outside, the private and lush backyard offers an open air cabana, swimming pool, and spa. There's also a handy wet bar in the poolside cabana and built in sofa for relaxing or entertaining. Well, now that we know Toby loves the Brentwood neighborhood of LA, I'll prove to you he really, really loves it because he also owned another piece of property here, but it wasn't a house. Earlier this year in May 2021, it was reported that the actor raked in $10.75 million for a literal one acre patch of dirt in the same neighborhood. Brentwood is one of the only areas that could sell a plot of dirt for this much. In a neighborhood full of celebrities and famous estates, the lot of dirt represents the chance to start building a custom home with plenty of space to spread out. Aerial photos show Toby's former plot is one of the only empty properties in the entire neighborhood. Records show Toby paid $10 million for this property in 2008 and barely turned a profit on the sale if you can believe it. He first tried to sell it for over $14 million in 2018 before eventually trimming the price down to $11 million last summer. At $10.75 million, it's LA's second priciest land deal in 2021, behind an empty lot in nearby Brentwood Park that went for $11.5 million in January. All right, now we've taken a look at Tobey Maguire's home, so that's all I got. Out of his three homes, which was your personal favorite? I'm having trouble choosing between the one he sold in West Hollywood with that unique open bathroom and the current modern traditional one in Brentwood Park. Be sure to let me know which one you liked best in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.